Now, this was the big one for me. This was the one where I was like, y'all need to see this. Hey, welcome back to the channel. All right, you saw the thumbnail title, right? This is actually going to be my third rank two champion. Now, if you've been following me for a while, you know I was prepared for this. I was saving my catalyst. We had a lot of fun with the event. I've gotten very busy, so I wasn't able to get out videos on everything, but I took my first rank two live on stream. We finished up Bahama and all that. You also know I was very much wanting America Chavez. I had saved so many Mystic Catalysts to the point where I'd actually gotten to, I had a tier five uh, class Catalyst of Mystic expiring. And I never, I do not recommend this, okay? In all my years playing, I think this is the first time something like this has ever happened, but I was like, I've got it expiring. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna, I did pop a few Paragons during the event. And I was like, I'm gonna pop 10. I, you know, I got the units. Let's see what happens. And I saw that red, that purple border. And I was like, I've got to at least record this. Why was it not doing this live? And I saw it and I know America Chavez's border very well or her profile picture very well. And I was like, I think that's her. And it was, it was, I, again, I do not recommend doing that. You know, the, the odds, I think it was 1% and then that's one out of 24 after that. So the odds of that working are terrible. Please do not think this will work at home. Uh, but I frantically, and there will be gameplay and she's better than I thought she would be. I thought the signature ability would make up for it a little bit, but honestly, I, I'm i excited to get to the gameplay, but there's so much to talk about here. I went and saw this, I was like, no one's going to believe that that was just a 10 pop. There it is. That was my summoner advancement score. So you know, I really just did a 10 pop. My alliance mates, I think don't even know, a couple do my planners uh, that I got her instant rank two. Uh, you know, the first one is Satania, but putting out the war videos on her. I, I I definitely see how powerful she is. I see how powerful seven stars are. Titania is phenomenal, amazing. I have her awakened. My second rank two, we'll see that all very, very soon. Stay tuned, we're gonna do a stream and have some a lot of fun with that. She, another she very very powerful but we need to wait for till june's update for that to happen i think some of you might know who that is now uh i don't want to watch have you guys watch me uh, rank up america chavez i love it i'm I, i'm so excited about this and i'm telling you uh i don't I, my six stars six 200 rank four this chavez is better this chavez is better i'm going to show you we're going to do some gameplay and then you know have some fun let's see let's take a look at it okay before we jump to the gameplay i did need to at least i i just I'm so excited. I'm so excited. All right. Now, the first thing I was like, we're going to show more than 6.4.1, but I was like, we got to do that. that. That's where we've been testing everything. That's where I did when her buff went live and I showed everyone, hey, I think she's going to be a Battlegrounds monster. This is how great I think she's going to be. I went there, tested it so we can compare. Now, this is the Synergy team I'm going to be running for this. Not a bad team. Not a bad team. Now, here is the, uh, let's go ahead and look through this here. She is a young Avenger, which is a new hashtag. You know how much I love Teddy. You know how much I love Wiccan. Hopefully you've seen my video recently on Cassie Lang. I immediately took her to rank four, but also now I've taken her to war. She did not disappoint. So that's already there. Now this is with Kate, who again, I will also be getting her video out. I'm starting to get down her timing, how to play her very well. She's a Battlegrounds monster. This is actually going to increase the limit on her uh, uh, trick arrows. And then I love this. This is gonna help. America, who can still take Teddies and things like that, Hulk leans, but this is going to help just that much more, right? Let's continue to move on. Now, this one, yeah, this, oh, oh we got to show the one with Spot, another champion I absolutely love. You all know how much I love Spot. This is going to be extremely helpful. It's going to lower the opponent's energy resistance by 50% for each unique parallel dimension, which you want to have up anyways, and buff on the opponent. So this is gonna help Chavez hit even harder on that SP2. And this is nice and it's helpful for spot. We'll cover that in a spot essentials video one day. Now this is with, um, that one is with She-Hulk there. Now this is gonna be interesting. This is for heavy attacks of opponents that aren't stunned, have a 600% attack rating. Now this is interesting because I think this could actually be helpful to my girl, Titania. Titania's attack value gets so high though. I don't think this is, this is not one where you're gonna be like, you're gonna hear me say, oh, I've gotta bring in this synergy. But that team is amazing, it's phenomenal. I'm gonna use it and I'm gonna show you some of the, on the current side quests. I think you're gonna be very surprised at some of the things we see, but here we go. So this is the testing, this is the Deadpool we uh, used to test on all the time. And I probably still will when I do like a rank three or rank four, something like that. You know, you know his health pool, you know that he's gonna be healing. And 
So we're still gonna do this as kind of similarly to the way we would play her uh, with the SIG 200 champion is I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get all her unique parallels up. I'm gonna do that via her heavy. You can see we have the negative zone up. Now, I don't, this is gonna go so fast. I'm not gonna be able to talk about it all, but I'm gonna continue to trigger her various um, dimensions there. You do that via the SP1 and the heavy, and that's increasing our ability to get uh, to the SP2 faster. I should throw this SP2 after the first hit of the heavy, which adds damage to it. And he's already dead. He's already dead when he have about 167,000 health. I believe this fight took 29 seconds. Now, here's what's very interesting. This is very interesting. We're gonna go to this uh, Venom the Duck, who has, I think, just under 200,000 health. Yeah, 195,000. Now we will have class advantage here, which we didn't have in the last one, okay? Also, I think Venom the Duck, when we kill him, is gonna have one buff, which as we know, will increase America's damage, right? But essentially we're gonna play it the same way because we don't need the extra benefits that come with the her zones, right? In the upper left-hand corner. We don't need to re reverse uh, power gain. We don't need to minimize uh, uh, armor up or something like that, which these zones do. They do things too. They're not just to ramp her up, but you can see how close we already have him down. You can see how hard we're hitting when we have the, uh, the stat focus, the crits there, and he's dead. I mean, he could have had another 30, 40, 50,000 health and he still would have been dead. And look at the time on this. Still only 29 seconds. That's really good. That is really, really good. When the utility that she brings forth could still have been utilized, right? We didn't need to there, but it's not like we did something different and I want you to see it here. So we're gonna go and take this vision about 190,000 health. We still have class advantage. Uh, I don't remember the node, it has like energy, blah, 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 blah. It's not important, but you're gonna see here that once we land up our first heavy, and I played a little careful, because again, I didn't really totally remember the node. Uh, uh, we're now minimizing his power gain, but I think it's like 70% or 60%. Once we get up one more negative zone, if that's what we wanted to do, his power gain will be reversed. I decide to still instead go for uh, damage, because I'm not that worried about his power gain right now, right? I'm kind of playing the node a little bit and filling this out. And, uh, and here we go, we're gonna do one more heavy. I'll probably have ended after, I ended after the two. That's a mistake, I shouldn't have done that. No clue what that was about. Uh, but we've shown you, we didn't even need to go to the special two. We didn't even need to do the special two. She's sitting, hitting so hard, 187,000 health, no need for the special two. Could have just gone to it if we wanted to, probably gone a little bit quicker. Could have reversed his power gain if we had wanted to, didn't need to do it. Now, this was the big one for me. This was the one where I was like, y'all need to see this. I mean, I was so excited about the 6.4.1, don't get me wrong. But this one, this is the side quest. This is 327,000 health. 327, also against a seven star. So the, uh, um, the competitor rating or whatever, the CR is the same for Chavez and Yondu, right? Both rank twos, both seven stars. There's nothing crazy here. Now there's going to uh, potentially be a slight advantage from the node, but you're going to see me play it where I purposely do not dex until the very, very end because I wanted this to be a pure test. I've also got to deal with uh, power gain here, right? The normal combat power gain of Yondu. We have to bait specials. This is very, very like this is what you experience truly playing the game. You see how hard she's coming out hitting. Now he's also going to get these pierce buffs, which will increase her damage too. He just gradually builds them up. Also, a lot of champions of the game have buffs. So this is what you can expect out of her. And I'm not even having to, again, I, I'm just so excited. I don't even have to use her utility. I can just get all of my dimensions up. Here we go. We're gonna go into the SP2 and watch this. After the first hit of the heavy, he goes from 63% health to 17. Remember this was a 300 and some odd thousand health champion. That's how hard that hit. We throw this, uh, this here. And we're going to trigger decks for the first time. And you tell me, did we need this Fury to end it? Absolutely not. One special two ends it in a heavy 300. What was it? 17,000, 300 something thousand health. Done, gone, dusted, in the bin, turned into potato. Whatever phrase your favorite YouTuber says, she just did it in 43 seconds. 43 seconds. I've tried to get a little bit of Battlegrounds. Uh, uh, footage for you since I took her to rank two. She keeps getting banned. Also, the fights are just over so fast. Like it's, 
be prepared for a lot of rank two Chavez gameplay. And here's the thing, he's not even awakened. If you want to see the essentials video on her, I know I've done a ton of content on her. I've done the war, I've done the BGs, I've done the buff. I did before the buff. And if you're like, hey, Vega, I really want to see the essentials video, please do it. Telling us how to play her, how she works. I'd be happy to do it. I love this champion. I love playing her. She's a favorite comic book character of mine. Uh, didn't love the movie, but hey, you know, MCU uh, doesn't always work out. But I, I think they've got her for long also. I'm excited to see where that goes. Let me know. If enough people say it, I will definitely get started on that as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a blast out there in the battle realm. Take care.